Hello everyone, this is part 1 on how to make a shoot 'em up game in Scratch. This is like my shooter game tutorials, but they are different game concepts. Anyways, I will be creating a top-down plane shooter game, which will be shooting many enemy planes and possibly a boss. In this video, I will create the movement and controls of the player plane, as well as firing. I'll start by making the player plane. Alright, so I'm done with the plane, and let's start adding some movement. So, go to your scripts, grab a win flag clicked, uh, grab a forever loop, and then grab an if statement, go to sensing, grab a key up arrow pressed. So, if up arrow pressed, then change y by, let's say, 2, and grab another if statement, grab a down arrow pressed. So, if key down arrow pressed, then change y by negative 2. And grab an if statement, grab a key right arrow pressed. If the right arrow key is pressed, then change x by 2. And then if the left arrow key is pressed, then change x by negative 2. Let's make this plane start at x0 and y negative 100 when the flag starts. I mean when the flag is clicked. And now let's try it. So the plane moves like this. I think I should change it to 4. So I am going to change all my values to 4. And now let's try it again. So yeah, it moves like this. Now let's make the plane shoot bullets. So let's create a new sprite. And I'll draw a bullet. So I'll just draw a yellow rectangle like this. Okay, a bit smaller. Alright. And, okay. Now I'll center this in the middle. And, yeah. So, I was thinking of the plane to shoot bullets on the alternating sides. Like, one on the left side and then one on the right side and like that. So, let's first grab a wind flag clicked. And then grab a forever loop, and let's go to x, y, and then put the plane's x position and y position coordinates. So the x position of sprite 1, which is the plane, goes to here, and the y position of sprite 1 goes into here. So now, if you try this, the bullet should go right on top of the plane, like this. You can see the yellow bullet right here. So we need to subtract some of the x position and add some of the y position to get there. So let's subtract, let's say, 10 in the x position. And then add, like, uh, 6 to the y position. So now we want the sprite to create a clone of itself, and then the cloned bullet goes straight forward. So let's add a create clone of myself in the forever loop and then drag a when I start as a clone 
and then go to looks, grab a show, and then go to control, grab a repeat until, go to operators, grab a greater than, and then go to motion, grab a Y position, and then set that to, let's say, 175. Now just change Y by, let's say, 12. Then go to control and then grab a delete this clone. Now let's hide the original sprite and let's try it out. So yeah, this uh, original sprite is creating clones of itself like really fast and they're shooting upwards. So I will add a wait block. Let's just say wait uh, 0.5 seconds and let's try again. So yeah. So now I want it so when I press a key, then it shoots once. So grab an if statement and then grab a key and then I'll just say M because when I press M I want the plane to shoot a bullet and then let's actually take out this wait 0.5 seconds and then grab a wait until and then grab a not and then grab a key M pressed or whatever key you want it to be so what this does is that when you press the M key then the bullet goes to the ship's position plus or minus a few X or Y units and then it creates a clone of itself and then it waits until you release the M key and then you can fire again. So let's try it out. When we run this, when you press the M key then it shoots once and you can shoot a lot of times really quickly if you spam the M key. So now let's make the bullets alternate sides when you shoot it. So let's go to data and then create a new variable. I'll call it uh, side and let's set it for, for this sprite only and then click OK. Now let's start with the bullet coming out from the left side. So I'll just set side to left and let's grab an if else statement and then put it inside of the if key M is pressed. So yeah, now let's grab an equals operator and then grab the variable side and say if side equals left. Then let's do this stuff and then set side to right right before wait until not key M is pressed. And now let's duplicate this and then put this into the else of the if else and then set the side to left and also add 11 to the X position instead of subtract 11. So let's try it out and it works like this. So what this does is that the first time when you press M the side is left and then it runs the code in here because side equals left. So when you press M, then the side is equal to right. And then the next time you press M, then it runs the code in here because side equals right. And then it sets side to left and then it repeats like that. So yeah, the ship shoots like this. I think I'll increase the speed of the bullets a bit. So like I'll change that to 16 and then I'll make the bullets uh, bright yellow. I think that looks better. So yeah. And for some reason, they aren't showing. That's weird. Oh yeah, it's because they pressed space. Whoops. So now, I will move on to the background. So since the plane is in the sky, then I'll make the background uh, light blue. So I will just try out a few colors. Um, maybe like around here. So I'll just add a yellow, and then I will select this option right here, and I'll paint it like so. Okay, that's a bit too much, so I'll just decrease it a bit, um, like this. I'll just use a lighter blue, so the same blue, but a bit lighter. And like this. Okay, that actually works pretty well, so yeah. Now we have our plane, shooting bullets, and a background. Also, if you want the plane shooting automatically, then you can just change this wait until to a wait. So I'll just say wait uh, 0 0.2 seconds. So now you can hold the M key and it shoots. I think I'm actually going to leave it like that, so yeah. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe too. If a lot of people like this, then I might be able to make this into a series. So yeah, see ya.